I'm Ethan Nicole, the uh, co-creator of Axe Cop, and you're watching Things to Do in L.A. So, Ethan Nicole, you just had the WonderCon panel on ADHD. How do you I feel? I did. It was good. This is the very first time I've ever been, uh, I came to a convention just for a panel. They actually, like, got me limo service, which is, like, I've never had... I, yeah, it's, I, I don't even know what they spent on that. That's crazy. It makes me look like I make a bunch of money. But anyway, I got like, like pull up in the back, come in. There's other guys that run. You seem like I have a lot of fans. Yeah. Oh, these are the guys that work on it. He's just on the panel. Um, so I wanted to congratulate you on uh, getting married. That's funny. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> why, why don't you tell me what's going on there? You're, not, you're doing a, um, a special program right now with the website? I'm just trying to, um, you know, I know that I have a lot of fans that want Axe Cop stuff. I'm trying to just open up this. I'm trying to make stuff that people want to buy. I'm trying to uh, do, do artwork. I'm just trying to raise money to pay for my wedding. So. Oh. Um, and there's a, you go to axcopwedding.com, and I'm, I basically made a registry for Axcop. You buy him his wedding gifts mm -hmm. because he's getting married in the comic. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you buy him, when you go, when you pay into his registry, basically you get a bunch of stuff from me, depending how much you spend, and that helps me pay for my wedding. So. Was, was the story a little forced, or did Malachi just get into it because you're getting married? Well, Malachi has three adult brothers, and in the last year. So the other two got married, and I've been engaged. Uh -huh. So marriage has just been an ongoing thing. So, it, and everything's very role-playing oriented with Malachi. Like we don't sit there and write a script; we role-play. And so, like, you get married to your brother? No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> but I mean, he 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 likes incorporating real life into the comics. So, yeah. like, uh, you know, there's a character who is my based on my fiance in the comic, mm -hmm. and uh, he incorporates my. Step my future stepkids into it and everything, and he kind of just he, whatever's in front of him. So it's been a topic that's been going on, and um, yeah, I don't think uh, nothing forced. I think I think it's actually been a lot of fun because we're exploring territory that Axe Cop hasn't explored yet. Mm -hmm. The idea of relationships and stuff like that. We've, we've, we've dabbled in it, but to have a whole story about Axe Cop, why would he ever want to get married? The reason he does, and like, what does he do? Like, what does he do when he has to set a wedding up and? Come with invitations and like. And he left Abraham Lincoln heartbroken. Really. Yep, yeah, yeah, divorce. Was... Like this, Axe Cop's one of the only superheroes I know who's like bald and divorced, and just all these things like unflattering. And how did you, you know? In the panel, no one brought up Axe Cop. Uh, Axe Cop's voice actually. It was kind of interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about that or, or getting? Well, it's interesting that nobody in the audience brought it up, but we're not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> what? But it was already announced. I don't get. Nobody. If you if you look at every every announcement. Everybody's saying the name. Yeah. No one official is, because there's, oh, a, there's a contractual reason that we can't talk. Oh, okay, legal. So thing. we say the voice is Axe Cop. That's Axe Cop's real voice. Can, can I ask? I just saw at the New York uh, Toy Convention, or what? It, I believe that you you have a brand new line of toys coming yeah. out, right? Is that through the comic, or is that through like what is that through exactly? <laughs> It's a it's a deal made right directly with me and Malachi for, for new toys. Uh, they're based on the comic, mm -hmm. um, so the, the the character designs will be based directly from the comic book pages. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be releasing around the time of the TV show. I think at Comic Con they've talked about releasing some plush dolls. Is that Mezco? Yep, yes. it's Mezco. And let me just say, I think everyone's going to enjoy having a dinosaur with a machine gun. Yeah, arms. Wexter was just made to be a toy. Like he was, he's an awesome toy. Can Axe Cop ride it? I don't know if there's like yes, this. Yes, they're this. setting it up so that the, the first Axe Cop can perfect. ride Wexter. That that's perfect. Um, so, can I, like, what is your role in the animation? Like, do you go to ADHD? Like, they were saying they have their own studios, or do you. It seems interesting. Like, I didn't know, like, Malachi would be called that often. Like, what, what is your role exactly? I. When we're writing, I'm there full time. Uh -huh. So we basically have uh, we did one block of time for about three weeks. Uh -huh. I came in basically like you know around nine in the morning till around five or six in the evening. Some days we'd go till like late at night, uh -huh. just writing, cranking out episode uh, structures, stories, brainstorming, and then always in those we come we'd hit these these walls and go. We don't know what to do with this, and we, we got to call Malachi. So I call Malachi up, put him on speakerphone. And my favorite memory of Malachi on the, on the speakerphone was the very first time we did it. I called him up, and we needed to find out what would happen if Axe Cop, because in the comic Axe Cop and Telescope Gun Cop, never really be in a big fight. But we wanted to have him get in a big fight in the, in the show, so we call Malachi up and go, 
What happens if they're at the fruit stand and they get this awesome huge battle? Because there's all this fruit around. And nice. He he starts and he doesn't stop for 20 minutes. He just starts telling it. He's, you can hear him running around the room, jumping off his bed. And he's like in the moment, just yelling and telling us the whole big fight. And like it's cosmic. He brings God into it. There's like you know entire universe like bad guys are being released released from prisons to kill you and like all this crazy like there was no way we could animate it all but it was like insane and he, it was just by the time he was done telling it everybody in the entire building had like come into the room and was crowded around the phone he, he didn't know he thought he was just talking to me so he finishes and he, he literally goes I'm done right when he finishes and then he just gets this like rousing applause from the whole building it was amazing can, can I, you know, it wasn't brought up, um, are these self-contained stories, the 11-minute ones, or is there a overall, overall arcing story? They're self-contained. Oh, okay. And they're all based on, most of them are based on actual Axe Cop stories, like we're basing one on the Bat Warthog Man, uh, like the one you saw up there was kind of a chunk of the Ultimate Battle. Yeah. The Ultimate Battle has so many different stories going on it, we decided to take one from the just the Dr. Doodoo Zombies Queen of England story. Oh, and just a lot of the stories we take part of an Axe Cop story out yeah. and make that one story because it's 11 minutes. We're not using narration, so everything that the narrator says that makes the comic move so fast, yeah. you'd have to work it into the dialogue and, and make it work. So it's been kind of the. It actually works really well. And how is it working with the rest of the ADH people? Like, have, have you ever really worked with these people before? Or? I had never worked with them before. Um, it's great. Everybody, everybody there loves the project. Like you can tell, there's nobody there who's just like, "This is my job. I have to do it." You know. I, I guess. I guess see, I'll just yeah. sit here and force myself to work on Axe Cop. Like everybody is excited to work on it, from the animators all the way up. So like you go around to the animators and they're having a blast because you know they're not drawing like My Little Pony or something that's kind of just like, you know, doing it for money. Uh, they're having a blast, like drawing so many crazy things that Axe Cop has in it, and it's always changing. I mean, like a lot of shows, you're drawing the same four characters constantly. In Axe Cop, there's so many different characters constantly changing. Is it is it painful waiting? Because you have to wait until July for it to come out. Is it? You okay? know, honestly, I've I mean, I'm getting married in May, and I've been way more. I have two very exciting things in my future. I'm more excited about getting married, and uh, time's flying. Like I can't. Time is just like I feel like I'm on a rocket ship right now. Like it's just like. So yeah, no. I, I'm trying to like. I want to settle my, get, you know, get married, get settled down because I know that when the show hits, things yeah. are gonna get crazy all over again. So I'm trying to like. I don't know. Things are happening very fast right now. I think it will be huge. I mean, just. Yeah watching it now. I, I, I think you just, that was an exclusive clip, right? That's the very first time anybody's seen animation from the show, anyway. That was uh, can, can we go into is it, you said in the itinerary you mentioned Fruity Truly and Batman animated series were like um, this is... I think that's what they said. I mean, I, they asked me and I said well, for a tone of writing and yeah. style, I just said, I really want you guys to think of voice acting and the, the artwork. Think Batman the animated series. I want that serious... Dramatic. Bruce Tim isn't coming over because he just, you know, quit his main job at Warner Brothers. <laughs> no. He's like, okay, guys, this is how we make Axe Cop. Yeah. <laughs> I think the character designs, like I said, are awesome as they are. So I love how they've taken that serious, uh, I can't remember his name, the, the guy that does the character designs. We haven't worked together a lot, yeah. but uh, he's there's, just nailing it. He's amazing. There's, and, no, there's no chance of a Batman Axe Cop team up right now, is there? Not right now, but that'd be awesome. <laughs> With Bruce Tim on board? Or, <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah, all the artists in, involved in all their prior projects have a lot of like history of being indie artists, and so yeah. it's, it's, it's rather interesting. Um, and any, oh, anything else from to, from just being at this panel? Like, were you, 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 they said, I think I heard you were at a so previous WonderCon panel, or is this the only panel you've done so far for Axe Cop? Like, well, I've done other Axe Cop panels. Um, this the is cartoons? the first, <laughs> this is one of the, this is the second thing I've ever done with ADHD publicly. Mm -hmm. Like a, an appearance, we did one a comedy festival where me and Malachi sat up there with Nick Weidenfeld and just kind of answered questions and stuff. Um, but this is the first time we've shown animation publicly like this, and it was cool. It was cool to see the jokes hit, like on the Axe Cop preview. Yeah. You know, it was there was the kind of laughter. It wasn't just like, oh yeah, that's funny laughter. It was like. 
caught off guard. Holy crap, that was funny moments. So it felt good to see the audience laughing as hard as we do. That's fun. That's fun. Thank you. You can get very insular working on a TV show. Yeah. And what's your favorite moment so far that you can reveal from that stuff? Right, thanks, anything? guys. Bye. From the show? Yeah. Um, favorite moment from the show. I just got distracted for a second. Um, I think... I don't know if it's moment. I think the voice actors are so amazing, and I'm torn between. I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan, and we have two amazing Breaking Bad actors. Is doing that voices. the reason why you just a fan? Like everybody on the show loves Breaking Bad. It was like I, we, I, we. I think we all. <laughs> the, the cool thing is that there's all these awesome comedy actors like Ken Marino, yeah, uh, Pat Oswalt, who's both dramatic and comedy. You know, he's, yeah, yeah. And then you got these guys like Jonathan Banks, who plays Mike Aaron Trout in Breaking Bad, mm-hmm. and. Uh, the guy that plays Gus in Breaking Bad. Awesome, dramatic actors. So, Mike Ehrman Trout as Book Cop. It's just, it's unbelievably awesome. <laughs> like, hearing him say a line that I wrote based on something, you know, like, I wrote the line based on what Mal- a kind of a, a Malachi-style line, like a finishing kill line, and he goes to the King of England, and he says, you were the King of London, England, but now you're the King of Dying. <laughs> And just hearing him say that was like, gives me chills.